listening to Word Radio. I'm Roy Noble, as ever, keeping you connected in the mornings with the latest news from around the country. The time is now 7 o'clock, and the topic we've been discussing today is the economy. The cost of living is always a hot topic on my show, and I'm interested, as ever, to hear what you all have to say on the recent news concerning Barry Gordon's decision, and on the economy in general. Hello, caller. What is your name? Where are you from? And what would you like to say? Uh, hi, Roy. It's Janine from Kent. Uh, I've been listening to your show for about a year. Uh, this is the first time I've called in. Nice to hear from you, Janine. Your ears are always appreciated. What would you like to say? Well, I recently separated from my partner, and I'm struggling living on my own. I think it's ridiculous that they're not raising the minimum wage. It's hard enough just to get by. I'm choosing whether to heat my flat or to have food in it, and I don't think that's a decision I should be making. I know. Many listeners share your pain, Janine. Have you been experiencing more difficulties after you and your partner split I've got up? i friends that claim all these different types of benefits, which means that they get more income than me. I mean, it's not like I want to be asking for handouts but it seems more simpler and easier than working for a living. Statistics do show a gradual increase in benefits supplied to individuals and families since 2005. I think if nothing is done to help the people that are trying to make an honest living, then it's a risk that the government has taken after yesterday's event. So you're after something that's going to show that life on the streets is no holiday, right? <clears throat> well, you're right. It's always dark and cold, and I don't mean the weather. So uh, how did you end up on the streets? I was somewhat thrown out here about three years ago, but I managed to land on my feet. How have you survived this long? It's a wonder I have survived to tell my tale. 
my secret is most people are deaf, dumb, and blind. Oh, how so? Why, they work like slaves. They're like you, schmucks. Hmm? All working diligently towards something that's going to lead you to your demise. You're all clueless. Our demise. Spare any change. But I hope that you do wake up and soon before it's too late. Because as every day goes by, it's going to be harder and harder to dig yourselves out of the grave that you're digging for yourselves. Our graves. People that control you, they hold almost all the cards. Our power is weakened, our freedoms lost to those that, well, they don't care for us in the slightest. I see. The numbers around me are growing, but that's only because they've fallen through the cracks. Now we're going to see how bare the bones of society really are. What about society? Society is enmeshed into a system, right? And this system is training and grooming the children so they'll be able to perform the tasks that are required to keep the cogs turning, to keep the wheels spinning. And they will never know their employers, yeah? because technology has replaced the real physical person with some digital unknown. And, and people are working all hours, so there's no time to raise the children to, to, to cook. And so people rely on the state to feed them and care for them, the nanny state, in effect. But you're all going to wake up and find yourselves trapped in a self-packaged box and the walls are closing in. For the moment, I do wish that people would stop and consider the consequences of their actions. Before it's too late. Too late for what? <laughs>